Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. On 24th of July, Sun and Moon opposed each other, illuminating 1 degree 26 minutes of Aquarius, forming a full moon, which will influence us for the next two weeks, bringing certain conclusions, realizations, culminations and release. We would have another full moon in Aquarius on 22nd of August, which would influence us on the same themes from 22nd of August to 6th of September. Together, they are bringing us one step closer to what we seeded with Saturn-Jupiter conjunction of December 2020, which is the new structure of our material growth for the next 20 years. We would also have a fun Leo season ahead, which is strong and needs to be balanced with these two full moons and the realizations or culminations that they're bringing in August. In the full moon video, I gave a brief of what the Leo season and the full moons bring to the collective. And now we are going to go over your specific zodiac sign to see the influence for your sign. You should check your rising sign followed by sun or moon sign. Rising is the most accurate, though career perspective holds from sun sign as well. Moon sign gives more information on the influence on our personal life. I use tropical western zodiac. I do describe the specific degrees in my readings to make them more personalized for you, to show who is most impacted or benefited, but keep in mind the transit I describe here are for all of your zodiac and not just for those degrees of your sign. As before, if you would like to receive transcript of all of my videos and podcasts in your mailbox or just get the details of transit as they happen you can sign up for my free newsletter link is in description for that if you would like to support my work making it more sustainable for me to do this at cost of a coffee a month link to becoming a patron is in description as well i would like to thank my patrons and subscribers who make this content possible to not miss out on notification of any critical transit for you do subscribe and press the little bell button for notifications. I appreciate your subscription, likes, comments and your loving support very much. My name is Charu and I'm your host on this journey. Let's dig in. Gemini, both the 24th of July and the 22nd of August full moon, they activate an adventure or education or expansion for you. You might have been thinking of taking a leap, travel, relocate, take an education, shift your speciality, publish, launch a media project or overall change the purpose of your life. And it's time to sort of deliver on it, be given an opportunity for it. You might have been working on it since Jan or February. And with Saturn here, it's been possibly a uphill battle, yet a focused and fruitful battle. You might be wanting to be more when it comes to your career and life path and this offers you the opportunity to be be open to flush out certain old ideas or influences as you're going for bigger places saturn and jupiter have been impelling you to restructure your philosophy and belief system as well as change your influences or mentors as what happens sometimes is that you might be on the road to become a guru an influence a teacher a media publisher, the one who brings new knowledge or specialized skills or unique ideas to large set of people. This would require you to challenge status quo, which includes your status quo, which includes your influences and your previous mentors. Or it might require you to bring change to group thinking and create a social experience, social enlightenment for many, publishing your thoughts on a large platform bringing people who are different very different from each other together different perspectives bringing them together through events or online groups show philosophical leadership and share higher new age thoughts with practical applications the projects you might be or should get involved in on the road to it are not just contemporary, brilliant and enriching, but they are also in some ways humanitarian, world saving or philanthropic. They need to have a higher ideal behind it. Now for the creation of this kind of expansion, we need to change 
not just our influences but we need some good boundaries and structure which saturn is currently working with you to create which could include creating the physical structure of those launches whether they're in the form of the actual medium by which you will communicate to people the actual platform through which you will reach out to wider set of audience or bring those people who you want to bring together creating that group together now we come to this first unveiling the first critical step with these two full moon and it could come with certain old influences or belief systems that need to leave your life coming to focus if we are off course when it comes to our life purpose if we are not following the path that we are here to to sort of walk on a karmic path midpoint of saturn and jupiter retrograde cycles around 1st of august and 19th of august they will show you but they will come with through some over the top discussions even ideological conflicts with others which can happen with a father figure which can happen with a mentor or it can happen with a person who now you have a different philosophy with or it can happen with a person who is different and foreign from you or different and foreign from who you are becoming jupiter is moving back in this expansionary house for you after 28th of july so it can bring some support and guidance it can become some new knowledge and information to you in terms of how to go about this kind of expansion that you're looking for this is excellent for publication this is excellent for launching a media project this is excellent for you to put yourself out there as a guru as a influencer as a teacher as a media publisher as a person who brings knowledge and information together and shares with large set of people i spoke about this in detail in your saturn jupiter conjunction because this will become the source of growth for the next decade for you i'll leave the link to that video below as well in the description for you to access personally look at the period between july and september of 2018 as to what was brought to focus for you because right now parallel themes will be playing out for you which are more personalized to you but remember 2018 was a time when we were required to just give and give without expectation of return there was no concrete outcome physical material outcome that needed to come out of that this is the time which is different from 2018 in that because we need to create a firm outcome of the ideals we need to create some firm stable and physical outcome of this progress and we need to progress forward in a physical form here we cannot just have a different ideology a, 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 an idea in our mind and not do something about it because saturn will is sort of impelling you to put a formal format to it all create a structure to it and this is a positive aspect with you so you are being given discipline in a very positive fashion to build this up and it's building you up this full moon which is happening on 24th of july which will be influential till 8th of august is specifically in positive aspect for rising sun or moon around early degree of gemini around 1 degree of gemini or around 22nd of may born but as i said in the introduction all of you will feel these themes playing out for growth restructuring bringing this in a guru or in a teacher in you the the educator in you out to play and bring something substantial to life at least the first deliverable of it to life because saturn and jupiter are revisiting this house and reaching their midpoint midpoint of retrograde cycle which will mean that something will come to helm like we need to deliver something and it will also bring some chances of restructuring in what you have thought so far into focus because there might be new information new actions uh, which will change the course of how you go about all of this to light like the topic of publication can change or the medium by which you go about could change or your audience can change or your focus your the subject of specialization and expansion could modify this can fall into the house of precedes a partnership for some of you especially 27 degree to 30 degree of gemini which is around 18 to 21st of june born gemini sun so there could be some impending issues 
linked to joint finances, debt, spouses or partnerships money, health, intimacy, loans, taxes, which needs to be resolved and dealt with specifically for 27 to 30 degree of Gemini or around 18 to 20, 21st of June born Gemini Sun. The crisis or issues linked to finances, linked to joint partnerships, they would need to be dealt before we can have our adventures, which will come to focus for these degrees, these specific degrees with the 22nd of August full moon. We would though have to balance the larger picture, this vision we have and the need for adventure we have with some mundane realities of getting things commercially done in August because that is Leo season for you. It's about commercial and communication endeavors when Leo season happens. We might have been living too much in our head and we would need to create more practical or livable philosophies. We will need to balance our idealism with real life in August. If you've been holding a lot of information, like sometimes we just try to read, 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 collect a lot of information, August will impel you to speak up and share it. No matter, it's not perfect, but we are impelled to share it. Now, due to heavy planets in our house of belief, we can come across a little bit strong in our opinions without meaning to do so. So in August, we need to balance that out by bringing the messaging and the skillful ideas we had through some lighter communication style or a easier to understand communication style or a more commercialized, something that can be commercialized um, instead of being too heavy, too skillful. We need to make it more palatable for everybody to consume. You are naturally gifted with making things palatable for people to consume. So this is use of your natural gifts, but we'll have to simplify the information and make it more communicable to the larger audience in August. August is great for this. It's great for publication. It's great for education. It's great for updating our skills, for reading, writing, and bringing a new mentor, a new influence, and doing foreign multicultural things. The Leo new moon of 8th of August, it gives you an excellent opportunity to start a new skill set, to learn a new skill or start a new communication or commercial project for you. It can bring opportunity to write, to talk, to sell, to speak up boldly, communicate, commute, travel, connect, commercialize, learn a new practical skill, get engaged in your local community, have a light, fun conversation with people, make a media contact or make a media appearance, deliver a skillful information in a fun way, gain some fame or, fame or recognition through your skills or written or verbal work. A contract, a commercial contract can come through, um, especially if you have rising sun or moon, around 16 degree of Gemini, three degrees before and after, or around 7th of June born Gemini Sun, three days before and after. This might be a little bit sudden and out of your comfort zone, or it might require you to overcome some sort of fear or unconscious belief of self, which you did not know is there, but till we don't speak up, we don't know that there's a hidden fear to speak up that might come in the way and we'll require to get rid of that fear for once. Keep in mind that in August, we will have Uranus exaggerating our past fears and our subconscious pattern or some sort of past which we have been holding on to. It could come up for final cutting of the cord. It can cause you to feel very restless without much time to sleep or rest or relax like something unknown or just the uncertainty or the restrictions or the slow progress is bothering you. You might feel lighter if you deal with it. If you deal with it, express what's bothering you because it can grow during the month, especially around 20th of August when Uranus is standing still, we can feel very nervy. And uh, it's the month when hidden problems can become visible for you. Uh, they can come in the way of you going ahead and commercially making yourself successful. 
it could be a hidden belief system or the past losses that you did not know some cord has not been cut for you to go out and be free and light in some ways manage the restlessness um, manage if possible this can this can form it, it can make our discussions a little bit darker if i may say it's it's something that needs to be dealt with there is a hidden part of you which is holding you back it is to deal with fear with subconscious patterns and we'll have to for once get rid of it and you have the potential to get rid of it in august by daring to do what you're being asked to do put yourself out on a stage put yourself out there when it comes to your skill when it comes to speaking up i covered this in detail in the saturn uranus square reading for 2021 as well because it's the theme of 2021 for you which is becoming more exaggerated in the month of august because those houses are being activated for you i'll leave that in the description as well if you like to take a look at it your house of mind is being stimulated in august and it's in positive aspect with you so it it leaves you more than you were when you entered the month but it will require you to move out of your comfort zone in some ways get out of your past fears in some ways so good luck for that gemini i'll see you in the next video now thank you